Hi, I'm Dr. Andy Thompson. Today, we're going to teach you how to perform an injection under the skin using an auto injector. Now, this is also known as a subcutaneous injection or sub Q injection. But first, there's an important concept about these injections you need to understand. Now, when you take a tablet, the small blood vessels in the stomach and bowel absorb the medication. A subcutaneous injection leaves a small amount of medication just under the skin. Now, just like in the stomach, the small blood vessels in the skin absorb the medicine. So you can be assured that you aren't injecting the medication directly into the blood. Today, we'll be demonstrating using an auto injector. Now, this is a device that is pre-filled with medicine and will inject the medicine automatically with the push of a button. Many injectable medications come in auto injectors. Each auto injector might look a little different, but they're all basically the same. Each auto injector has three basic parts. A needle cap, a medication window which shows the medicine, and an activator button. Okay, let's get on with the injection. We're going to teach you how to inject using four basic steps. Step one, gather your supplies. Step two, choose and prepare an injection site. Step three, inject the medicine. And step four, dispose of the syringe. Step one, gather your supplies. At roominfo.com, we prepared a special injection placemat. This will help to make sure you've got all of the necessary supplies. Place your injection mat on a clean table or surface. You'll need your auto injector. If it has been in the refrigerator, it's a good idea to let it warm up for about 30 minutes. Now, if you're not sure, talk to your doctor or pharmacist. You'll also need a clean gauze or tissue, and finally, a puncture-proof sharps container to dispose of the used auto injector. If you're missing any of the supplies, talk to your local pharmacist. Step two, choosing and preparing an injection site. It's important to start by washing your hands thoroughly with soap and water. A subcutaneous injection can be given in any of the places shown on this diagram. The thigh, the abdomen, or the upper arm. It's best to choose a different site for each injection, at least an inch away from a previous injection. Now you can easily inject into your abdomen or thighs, but you'll probably need help from another person if you want to inject into your upper arms. It's a good idea to rotate your injection sites. For example, this week you might place the injection into your thigh, and next week into your abdomen. You can also use the upper arms if someone else is helping you with the injection. If you're injecting into your abdomen, stay away from the two inches around your belly button. Don't inject into an area that is tender, bruised, red, hard, or one that has scars or stretch marks. Step three, inject the medicine. Remove the needle cap from the auto injector. Place the auto injector on the injection site at a 90 degree angle. Push the auto injector firmly against the skin to unlock the device. Press the activator button on the auto injector to activate the device. The injector will now inject the medicine under the skin. Now some auto injectors will click when the injection is finished. However, it's best to count to 15 slowly. 1 1000, 2 1000, 3 1000, etc. Now when you've reached 15, remove the auto injector and look at the medication window. It should have changed color. You can no longer see the clear liquid. It should be replaced by the color of the plunger. Apply pressure with a cotton gauze or tissue for about 10 seconds. It's normal to see a tiny drop of blood. Step four, dispose of the auto injector. It's important to dispose of used auto injectors in a proper container. These containers can be found at your local pharmacy. They're often referred to as Sharps containers. Simply take the used auto injector and place it in the Sharps container. Store the container in a safe place out of reach of small children. When the container is two thirds full, take the lid closed and discard it as instructed by your local pharmacist. And that's it. Giving a small injection under the skin using an auto injector is really just that easy. If you have any questions or concerns, please talk to your doctor or nurse. Thank you for watching and we hope you found this video to be useful. For more information, please visit our website 
www.roominfo.com.